when you bring diversity in, it allows and it starts up acceptance and that's what most people want, I feel. So my name is uh, Tyler Flatness. I am 21 years old. Um, I am Asian American. But I actually asked my mom and dad about that. I was like, so how should I identify my ethnic background? And they, honestly, I think it's based on percentages. So um, I'm 50% Filipino because my mom's 100%. But then my dad's like, a quarter, I mean not a quarter, half and half um, Native American and just Caucasian I guess. I don't, I don't know how, I think that's the proper term, but um, I asked them like do I just refer to myself as Asian American and um, they said yes yeah, since I'm 50% and I'm 25% Caucasian, 25% Native. So I think that's all that works. And it's weird because like my last name is from my native side too, Flatness. It's from um, my, uh, my dad's Northern Cheyenne tribe. I grew up all 21 years here in Grand Island. Uh, I went to high school here at Grand Island Senior High and graduated in 2018. I come from a family of five um, with my father and my mother and then my two older brothers. My mother uh, is 59 years old. Um, her name is Eliza. Um, she is 100% an immigrant. Um, she grew up in the Philippines. She's the first in her entire family to move to the United States. Um, she was a nanny at an Air Force base in the Philippines. They offered her to move to San Francisco because that's where they were gonna be stationed near next. So they brought my mother with, and after a while, they, that same family moved her again across the states to Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, and that is where she met my father, who was in the Navy at the time. What motivates me to get an education is that I'll be a first generation graduate. Um, my mom is big on school, but She's not too familiar with it, but I know it would make her, it, it'd almost make her life worth it if one of her kids graduated. Like my parents, they don't care what we do. Like not necessarily they don't care at all, but they just want us to be happy. So if you want to work a nine to five, go ahead. Just as long as you're happy and you can provide for yourself and your future families. My parents, they will love us no matter what. I chose to attend uh, Central Community College for three simple reasons. Affordability, proximity, so being close to home, and the flexibility CCC offers is just, it just works with my schedule. My program of study is Associate of Arts, so that will be, that will be my degree that I get from CCC but I plan on academically transferring to the University of Nebraska at Kearney. I plan on going into education. Um, so I plan on teaching high school history, um, but that isn't my dream job. My dream job is actually to become a high school guidance counselor. Um, I just feel like that's where I fit in and where I belong. My childhood was amazing. I loved being a kid. <laughs> um, I loved everything about it. I loved elementary, middle school, high school, you know. I had, honestly, I, I wouldn't say the perfect childhood, but I had a pretty good time. And it might be partly because I was the youngest. I feel like my brothers had a tougher time than I did. But um, with that being said, being having a great childhood, comes with certain consequences and sacrifices. Um, my entire life, my mother and father have been working hard to provide for me and my two older brothers. Um, my mother in particular has had two jobs for the last 30 plus years now. With race, sexuality, and gender, I wasn't necessarily taught 
I wasn't given like a lecture um, about it. I mean, other aside from like sex education and like typical classes that are required like in public schools, um, I was more taught through my experience. So like my at home life, um, my parents didn't necessarily have to sit me down to teach me about race. They didn't have to sit me down and teach me that somebody was different. Um, they let me roam free and learn through my experiences, my friends, you know, and if I had any questions, I could obviously ask them, I felt like, but I feel like I didn't have to, I just felt like I was able to learn on my own um, through my friends. Um, a lot of my diversity in my life, uh, most of like, most of the things I feel more cultured, cultured on, um, I feel like I got through my friends and um, some of it's from my family, but when it comes to race, sexuality, and gender, I, what I've learned, I've learned that nobody's different, we're all human beings, and that we need to treat each other with respect and just make sure that we all feel equal. Um, I, it doesn't matter the color of your skin. Diversity and inclusion is important to me because <clears throat> it allows our society to balance out, um, it allows our world to balance out um, different opinions and different cultures. Um, when you bring in uh, diversity and inclusion um, anywhere, it allows people to have different opinions, cultures, and morals, and different backgrounds. And doing that, you just have a better understanding in the world and the world we live in. Um, and it allows, overall, when you bring diversity in, it allows and it starts up acceptance. Everybody wants a certain amount of respect or love in their life, and being accepted and being included in something or whatever it is. That's where it comes from, is from being diverse for who you are. I feel like my uh, background, um, my uh, ethnic background, played both. It has benefited me, and it definitely has been kind of a downfall. Um, the downside of my ethnic background um, being Asian American is <clears throat> the block. It like pu like going through K through 12 uh, public school was a breeze. I felt like it was awesome, you know. With my mom being an immigrant and me being the second generation to that, is that she doesn't have higher education past her high school in the Philippines. She she doesn't know how American colleges are. She only knows what she knows there. Um, she's learned a lot more since I've since I've started going to school. Um, she it, it's just hard because I have to rely more on the re resources at a college or whether it was my high school guidance counselor like preparing me for my future and sometimes even asking friends that know a little bit more because. I, when I was graduating, I had no idea what I was gonna do, and I feel like part of the reason of that is my parents, my dad was in the military and my mom was an immigrant. Uh, they both aren't familiar with college. Like, they know what it is, but they just don't know how to set me up and have a plan for myself. And I kind of felt like I had to do that on my own. And at the time when I was first going into school, I was all over the place. I actually dropped out and now I'm actually having more success later on. Um, when I, I feel like part of that is I didn't know what I was doing at all. I was lost. Um, but the benefit of my ethnic background is being able to be who I am and just be proud of it. I feel like um, everyone's different and if you are out there and just being aware of who 
who's around you and knowing that that person is who he is or she is for that reason. And that's awesome, you know. One word that describes me is mindful. Um, I believe that because uh, being mindful isn't being just being aware of yourself and thinking about yourself all the time. It's more about being more consciously aware of the people around you and not just thinking about yourself all the time, but also thinking about those around you and knowing that they're there and taking them into consideration and being able to do that will allow you to build upon yourself and build relationship, build stronger relationships with them, um, whether it's your family, friends, or even somebody you barely even know. Just recognizing, acknowledging somebody's there allows you to be more mindful of like your surroundings. CCC can continue to build upon the organizations and clubs that they already have here and continue to possibly create new ones. Um, I am a part of uh, NSLS and uh, PTK, uh, but I feel like those groups are more academic based and not everyone like I know it's a college, but not everyone wants to stay on top of like their goals and their leadership skills and whatever it is. They want to, they, they, there's some people that want to have some breathing room. They want to have some certain types of fun, you know. It'd be cool um, when people come and visit CCC, they show them that these banners or those posters are put up with like the, you said there was QR codes. So I feel like it'd be cool when they're touring it, like have them go to one or whatever and have them look at it. So they, there is people actually getting use out of it.